You've got the C major, you've got middle C, where your thumb is here, and E, and then the left hand's an octave lower, and you're in your C, D, E, F, G position. You want to go slow enough so you don't want to raise. So here comes your quarter note. And, 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 right? I'm counting and, 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 forward, forward. Resolve, monkey swing out. Okay, now we're going to fill that in with eighth notes. We're not changing the pattern. But the motion changes to forward rebound. Forward, bounce, 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 forward. Now we do the zigzag. We're going to do side to side. We're actually doubling the eighth to sixteenths. Now we're no longer going forward bounds. We're doing everything like lateral motion. Now it means you have to start a little this way and then go that way and then this way, and that way, right? So you get... I'll do it again. And you probably have a little spurt in one place. Here's where the spurt is. Spurt, spurt. Notice that little bit of surge of energy in two places? motions, right? First motion is forward wrist, second motion is forward bounce, third one zigzag this way, side to side. And don't do contrary, just this week do uh, just parallel, right? We didn't do contrary motion. Yeah. Now if you, you have to start with that slow quarter because you don't want to find yourself boxed into a very fast triple speed where you go, uh oh, it's too fast. So you got to make sure that, stick with this, and and, right? That allows you to go to E, 